Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yah by Shem Yahushai and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to all the Akim out here pushing and doing the work in truth and sincerity. Okay, we want to go in on the um, topic of the um, scoffers out here talking about uh, prophecy. You know, when um, honestly, they're not men of the Lord, so they're not um, going to get it. You know, the Lord... Uh, didn't give them eyes to see you know even though that they have eyes but um they always talking about uh no man knows the 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 time of course what scripture says well matthew uh 24 and 36 we get that Uh, Matthew 24 and 36, it says, uh, but of that day and hour, no man knows, I mean, no man know, not the angels of heaven, but my father only, uh, so, so at the same time, right, not even Yahweh Shah knows when he's going to come, you know, but at the same time, right, we're supposed to, uh, hasten the day for the Lord to come. You know, and uh, a lot of these guys out here, they're not occupied in uh, prophecy or in the scriptures. The main thing that they're really occupied then is scoffing at GMS, you know, and trying to uh, not gather up sheep, you know, but they're really trying to gather up wolves, you know, and um, just basically scoffing, you know, like it's not even just those guys out here you know because we first and foremost we out here trying to reach the elect you know and get up out of here they, but you got these guys out here like people you know niggas you know just want to continuously uh scoff you know we, we deal with that every day first time a, a video will come up you know the video ain't even uh been up for five minutes you know and and Next thing you know, you got uh, comments of people scoffing and they even watch the video, you know, like the whole entire video. The video could be an hour long and only been up for five minutes and they scoffing already just for the simple fact that they hate GMS, you know, and that's just, you know, the way that uh, that that is set up to be, you know, like the men of the Lord and everybody that uh, that that defended the doctrine, you know, they was hated. Even Yahweh Shah is the greatest example. You know, like they hated him, you know, and, and, and a lot of these guys like um, Azar, uh, Baloo, you know, these guys, they don't even believe in Yahweh Shah, you know, like that shows you that like, first and foremost, Yahweh Shah is the gateway to get to Yahweh, you know, and, and they're just being wicked, you know, they don't know when the, um, when the Lord is going to come, you know, what's going to happen, you know. But um, that they'll they'll get that reward, you know, for 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 what they do. And I'm not talking about uh, a righteous man reward. I'm talking about an unrighteous man reward, you know. But um, I'm gonna get get uh, this scripture. Ecclesiastes eight. Five and seven. It say, "Whoso keepeth the commandment shall fear no evil thing." Right now, in the scriptures, it says that uh, the righteous are bold as a lion. You know, and um, a lot of these guys, you know, like Crips and Bloods, you know, like trying to come up against the men of the Lord. You know, like it says, "Whoso keepeth the commandment shall fear no evil thing." We don't fear men. We fear Yah by Shem Yahweh Shah, you know, and and I'm, this is the elect, you know, I'm, who I'm, who, who these videos are really posted to, you know, GMS. We don't post videos for for scoffers to try to get at or or, or, or comment on and, and 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 try to gather up wolves. Or if you if you if y'all can go ahead and grab out people from out of GMS, go ahead. You know, we don't care. Obviously, they're not men of the Lord. You know, they're not trying to be righteous, but um. Whoso keepeth the commandment shall fear no evil thing, right? And a wise man heart discerneth both time and judgment. 
So as it says, like a wise man heart discerns both time and judgment. So like a lot of the stuff that's going on out here, we're looking forward to um, America coming down. You know, like we're looking for that. You know, like, of course, no man knows when the time of the Lord is going to come, you know, but we're looking for that. We're hastening for that time to come. Um, it says, because to every purpose, there is time and judgment. Therefore, the misery of man is great upon him. Right. So like the, the what the situation with like Mike Brown or Eric Garner or, or Tamir Rice or any of these other situations that happen, you know, it says to every purpose, there is time and judgment, you know. So with those situations happening, you know, and, 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 and the situations that's going to happen in the future, we're looking forward to, you know, we're not looking forward to, but like we already know for every cause that uh, there is an effect, you know. So when uh, a situation where Mike Brown gets shot down, you know, whereas though like he was wicked in the first place, you know, like. We already know the Lord set that up. And if you're a man of the Lord, you'll understand that, you know, and, and, and as the scriptures say, a wise man, you know, heart discerns both the time and the judgment and to every purpose, there is a time and judgment, you know, so the Lord set that up so that these people, you know, could get roused up. The, 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 the people who don't know that they're Israel, you know, the, the men that's not, or the people that aren't men of the Lord, you know, those people are going to get roused up, you know. So when we sit up here and say that we, we praise the Lord, you know, when somebody like Mike Brown, who's a wicked man, you know, goes down or gets shot down by one of these crackers, you know, like that's because it's a purpose behind that, you know. Y'all guys don't even understand that because it's the Lord's plan, you know, but, um, let's say, uh, let me read it again, because to every purpose, there is time and judgment. Therefore, the misery of man is great upon him. Okay. Mike Brown getting shot. That's the misery. You know what I'm saying? That was great upon him. You know what I'm saying? Um, for he know of not that which shall be. For who can tell him when it shall be? Um, I'm going to go to Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. Um, it say, For man also knows not his time. It is the fishes that are taken in an evil net. And as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falls suddenly upon them. So like a lot of these guys, like like they're not trying to be, uh, they're not trying to be righteous, you know. Um, you got like guys like like GMS no cowards, you know, like um, trying to basically be a snake, you know, because that's basically all these people are, you know, like uh, the the we on on top of everything we got the white man or so called white man. You know, these Edomites, you know, who really, uh, the, the, the snakes, you know, the, the devils, you know, they, uh, they had the Gadites, uh, try to care for them, you know, be brothers to them, you know, and what did they do? They ended up, uh, slaughtering them, raping them, you know, but at the same time, you got like these guys who used to be a part of GMS, you know, following the doctrine. You know, giving double honors to the apostles, and they're not even doing it in sincerity, uh, in, in general. But they're giving double honors to the apostles, and um, and basically they're being a part of GMS, get kicked out, and then all of a sudden they want to start uh trying to bite GMS, or you know what I'm saying, like like doing things that a snake does. You know, like the Lord just revealed that spirit. You know, and that's just that's just the way things are. But um. I'm going to continue, though. Um, in, in general, right, these people need to um, to be more occupied in prophecy. And if they were occupied in prophecy, then they would, uh, they would know that scoffing at GMS is not the way to go. 
we out here trying to get up out of this kingdom you know and and you got people out here that uh like i said they just want to get on every uh comment or or, or or every single thing that gms does you know like their doctrines be the law uh Keep, they don't even keep the laws you know what i'm saying like a lot of these these guys out here they don't even go out on the streets you know but they 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 they, they occupied and and the law you know uh these women and then the the, the uh, gmfs you know that's basically their doctrine you know like and and that's 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 not the way to go you know what i'm saying like not to say like a, 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 a prosperity gospel because we don't we don't preach that bull crap right but the, the the scriptures you know if you lay your life down for the prophecy for Yahweh Shem you know what I'm saying and devote your time into this you know the promises that's promised to the elect you know that's prosperity in itself not trying to prosper in this kingdom you know trying to uh take a deal you know to to uh, to, to preach watered down doctrines you know we got to defend the the, the the scriptures you know and that's all gms does we defend the scriptures you know what i'm saying y'all about is righteous you know all righteous you know like you got these non-messianics you know who they don't even understand the scriptures in general like 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 i said they're going to get their uh the the their uh reward but they acting like Yahweh Sa wasn't righteous, you know. That's that's wicked as it is. You know they they already condemn, uh, uh, condemning the just. You know what I'm saying and justifying the wicked. But I'ma continue though. This is Luke 19 and uh, 42. Uh, saying, if thou hast known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto you, peace, but now they are hid from your eyes, for the day shall come upon you, that thine enemies shall cast a trench about thee, and compass thee round and keep the end at on every side so like these guys right like just imagine you know they they sitting up a new gms video come about you know and they they sitting up here uh so uh y'all uh talking about uh the 2000 uh america was supposed to go down to 2000 right and as soon as they shut that comment up you already got these edomites and everybody setting up around you why because that's the reward that's going to be coming to you you know you don't you're not so uh you're not occupied in the scriptures or occupied in prophecy you're occupied in trying to uh uh the the, the mean or, or uh try to come at uh gms you know but um it's a uh for the days shall come upon you that your enemy shall cast a trench about you and compass you round and keep you in on every side. You know, so there's no going, there's no escaping from that. You know, this is not even talking about a missile. You know, this is talking about the devils, these Edomites coming at you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna continue. They say, and shall lay you even, even with the ground. And thy children with you, within you, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of your visitation. So, at the same time, we supposed to be occupied and trying to uh, hasten the day for the Lord, you know. And y'all guys aren't even occupied in, in prophecy. Um, this is Psalms. 11 and 6 Upon the wicked he so rain snares Fire and brimstone And a horrible tempest This shall be the portion of their cup The thing is right 
that the Lord already has judgment placed on y'all. Y'all don't fear the Lord. You know, y'all not uh, trying to uh, please the Lord. Y'all sitting up here so busy trying to come at GMS and everything that we do. You know, it's not even just about GMS. It's about y'all watching y'all shot because the elected GMS is out here trying to uh, get y'all boxing, get on the the, the, the the good side of y'all boxing y'all side. You know, nobody is good. You know, but at the same time, we out here trying to do what what our what the, the the Bible says, the commandments. Going out here, you know, trying to reach the elect, teach the elect. You know, feed the sheep. But instead, y'all trying to uh, gather up wolves. You know, um, let me get 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 some more uh, scriptures. Proverbs 29 and 6. In the transgression of an evil man, there is a snare. Right? So, like I said, like, with Mike Brown, uh, all these other guys who get shot down, you know, like, that's a snare not only for Mike Brown, right, but just their death, you know, like, when, when, when we say, because the scriptures say, I'm going to say it, it say, in the transgression of an evil man, there is a snare, but the righteous do doth sing and rejoice. So when we say we praise the Lord for people out here dying, that's a snare to y'all. You know, that's a stumbling block, you know, trying to get crips, bloods, everybody, you know, oh, y'all GMS is wicked. Who, who, who's their God? You know, but the scriptures clearly say that the righteous rejoice and sing when these wicked people get shot down. You know, because if they was living anywhere in their right, they wouldn't even be in that situation. Um, Luke 17, 26. And as it was in the days of no, so shall it also, I mean, so shall it be also in the days of the son of man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that no entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. So another thing, right? It clearly says that uh, Noah you know, like, like, if we both, if we also know, you know what I'm saying, if you into the scriptures, that uh, around that time, the Lord destroyed the earth, you know, with water, right? Um, nobody believed Noah, you know, Noah was a prophet, you know, it didn't happen right then and there, but they got destroyed, you know, same way with Egypt, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, like that's all America is, is, is Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, um, that the world of America is going to get destroyed by uh, thermonuclear missiles, you know, and um, the scripture says the things that were written before time are for our knowledge, you know, so like the, the, the situation with Noah, you know, the situation with uh, Egypt, the situation with Sodom and Gomorrah, all of these things are stuff that we should be looking for, you know, and for Yahweh Shem Yahushai, you know, to come and, 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 and deliver us from this wicked ass kingdom, you know, wicked ass people like y'all who are holding us back, you know, but it's not just because the Lord is going to uh, hit, hit all his prophecies, you know, and everything, his word is going gonna, is gonna to remain true, you know, regardless of whatever. You know, so whether you believe it or not, you know, but, um, I'm going to continue on for a little bit more. Um, let's say, uh, they did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that no entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot. They did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Right? Like, and, and another thing, right, is that like when Lot escaped, right, 
of course, he, he, he escaped with his wife and his two daughters. But his woman ended up looking back and ended up getting destroyed. Right? So, as I said earlier, that a lot of these camps out here, they uh, focused on the law, which they don't even keep these women, which are wicked as hell, and come in at GMS. Right? And the, the, the purpose of what me, what me saying that was that, like, what Lot, right? Lot escaped, you know, but his wife ended up turning into a, a pillar of salt, you know? Like, so at the same time, right, like, when when Yahawashah, when Yahabashim Yahawashah returns, right? Like, we're not going to be sitting up here worried about whether our woman uh, is right, you know? If she don't get it, you know, she'll come back. Because as men of the Lord, we understand what the Bible says. You know, they'll come back in their right mind. You know, so we're not out here trying to, we out here trying to reach the elect. You know, the and that's the, the 144,000. Now, um, continue. Um, this 30th verse. It say, even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. So when Yahweh passes Yahweh Shah, when Yah when Yahweh sends His Son Yahweh Shah to come, you know, on the clouds, you know, it'll be revealed. In that day, in which He shall be upon the housetop and His stuff in His house, let Him not come down to take it away, and he that is in the field, let him likewise not return. And the scripture says in the next verse, remember Lot's wife. Why? Because at the same time, right? These women are really possessions. You know? Same way with anything else out here that's materialistic. You know? We sitting up here, but when, when your house comes, you know, we're not going to be sitting up here like, oh, I got to go get my Xbox One or I got to go get my Jordans. You know, I got to go get, make sure that my wife is here. You know, because if your woman is right, the Lord is going to save her. The Lord is going to protect her. You know, but if she's not right, she, that, hey, that's just what it is. You know, you got to be a man. Or, you got to be strong, man. I'm going to continue on for a little bit more and I'm going to close the video. Luke 21, 34 and 36. It says, Heaven and earth shall not pass away, but my words, heaven, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that they come upon you awares, unawares. So at the same time, right, like we're not supposed to be sitting up here worried about anything that's out there. You know, the Lord's going to make a way, you know, don't get too caught up in, in anything out, out here other than prophecy, you know, and, and, and trying to hasten the day of the Lord, you know. Uh, it says, for it is a snare. So it come upon all them that dwell on the face of the earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that so come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. So like we supposed to always pray, you know, always try to be in the spirit, you know, meditate on the scriptures. You don't got to always read the scriptures. You know, you don't got to know the Bible inside and out. You know, that's that's not what this is, this is all about. You know, we always are trying to win y'all by seeing y'all side. We're not trying to win over on, the law. is not going to uh, prove that you're righteous. You know, uh, keeping the faith. It don't matter if it's point one second before the guillotine hits your neck. Always keep that faith and, and stay strong. Because your Abba Hashem Yahushua is going to deliver you And he's going to keep you And he's going to protect you Regardless of whatever Don't ever give up Akim And this is going out to the elect You know The ones that, that, that's going to receive it You know But um, I'm going to close it out On this scripture Right here 
This is 2 Peter 2 and 12. It says, uh, but these is natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil things that they understand not, and so utterly perish in their own corruption, corruption, and so receive the reward of unrighteousness, as they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they are, and blemishes sporting themselves with their own deceivings. So in general, right, that these guys out here, you know, they so focused on trying to come at GMS, you know, but the Lord just set those guys up to be an example for the elect, and those guys are going to come back, you know, in their right mind in the kingdom if they don't get, if, if, they, if they are the elect, you know, they're getting their right mind. But they're not, you know. So if the Lord came today, you know, they're not even looking forward to that. You know, so they're going to get their uh, reward, you know, the reward of unrighteousness. And um, that's that's the, the Lord just set them up for that. You know, they, they, they're scoffers and that's just what it is. You know, we out here trying to uh, reach the elect, you know, stay in the spirit, Akim, um, and uh, remember the goal. Keep the faith and continue to do the work. Thank you.